It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. All right, folks, we got a big one to preview for you in the Big 12. Kansas State unbeaten, number two in the BCS at TCU. And they're night biting their nails here, uh, the Kansas State folks. Klein questionable at quarterback. Uh, Ricky, you think he's going to go. Uh, let's just start with the numbers. If Klein plays, Kansas State's a 10-point favorite. Total in the game is 58. But if he's out and the freshman Sams has to go, the number comes down to 4 and 54. That's a gray area. A big, big difference, Brian. And it does sound like Colin Klein is planning to play. Bill Snyder thinks he's going to play. His mom even said, he looks great. Okay, so I, you know, I, it, it's a big difference because Kansas State becomes much more one-dimensional if Klein's not if, if Klein's not on the field. And TCU's a ninth-ranked defense in the country against the rush. And if they're not able to throw the ball, that's why the big difference in the point spread in my mind. All right, Kansas State coming up a 44-30 win over Oklahoma State. And the good news would be if, if the kid Sams had to go, he got his feet wet a little bit. Yeah, he did. And they, you know, this is a Kansas State offense that's only scored under 30 twice on the year. They scored 24 at Oklahoma, 27 at Iowa State. And again, they have forced 21 turnovers and they don't turn the ball over. That's what makes them a good football team. They don't commit penalties. They have allowed zero points to the opposition off turnovers on the year. Let's we'll talk about TCU. All in all, uh, they're having a great season. They're six and three overall, three and three in conference. They snapped a two game losing streak with an overtime win against West Virginia. But Ricky, this is a freshman laden team and for all the great things the Horned Frogs have done, uh, you know, unbeaten seasons, being in the discussion for the championship, I think this may be the best coaching job that Patterson's done yet. He's done a tremendous job. Bill Snyder's done a tremendous job. It's two great coaches. You've got Trevon Boykin filling in for Casey Pahal at TCU. Uh, he's been good, 58.5%, 13 touchdowns, seven interceptions uh, in his time on the field. They win, as you said, at West Virginia last week, an overtime, double overtime game. To, uh, they went 39 to 38, but I'm not sure how big a win that is as West Virginia after the hot start is now five and three on the season. And finally, just a little odds making 101 for you. You see the drop off if Klein doesn't go. It's not just the side that's impacted. The total for an opener would be down four points and it stands to reason. K-State probably plays it a little closer to the best. That's as, probably as big an adjustment as you're going to see for one player uh, in any game uh, on, or throughout the season in the country. And from 10 down to 4 and from 58 down to 54. Again, um, if the freshman goes, they don't have much of a passing game. And TCU's great against the run. But all, all expectations are that Colin Kine's going to play. So. It's a big one for Kansas State, looking to keep that train rolling right into the BCS title game. Tough one for them, though. Keep an eye on the uh, on the news and notes, whether Klein's actually going to be out there. We'll see how they fare when they take on the Horned Frogs at TCU.